one. Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Run the thumbs up on these videos. I appreciate you guys being here. Jeremy Bernard has committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Here with Coach Sean to break it down. Coach, we got Jeremy Bernard in, six foot one, 205 pounds. He's a bigger type wide receiver. Good yeah. news continues to come for Alabama. A couple days ago, you have Austin Mack, then you have Parker Brailsford, um, and now you have uh, Jeremy Bernard, who has committed to Alabama as a wide receiver. What do we like about him? Why does this make sense? It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Very similar build to Kendrick Law. Very, very powerful red zone guy. Mm -hmm. Caught a lot of passes in the red zone for Washington. We need another guy like this, a stable guy, a guy that has done it at the mm -hmm. Power 5 level. Um, huge pickup for Alabama. Don't let nobody tell you that it's not. Yeah. Every, it's a lot of schools that wanted this young man. A mm -hmm. lot of schools wanted this young man. It makes perfect sense for Debo, Coach Debo, to bring his offense mm -hmm. in and have his key guys here. This guy's going to help our wide receiver room amazingly, amazingly. Yeah, and, and I think when you look to uh, kind of a taste of what Coach DeBoer is bringing in so far, uh, you got a quarterback in Austin Mack, six foot six, 230 pounds, young guy, had to reclassify. Um, and then your second commitment would really address immediate needs, and that's going with the center position, uh, which we really like in Brailsford. I mean, the guy only allowed one sack in 612 um you know, snaps in, in terms of pass blocking, which is incredible. And now you have Bernard coming in here. And the news was posted earlier today um, by Pete Dammel, who was saying that former Washington wide receiver, kick returner, Jeremy Bernard tells ESPN that he's on a visit to Alabama, which we knew, um, expected yeah. to com commit to the Alabama Crimson Tide, and that he caught for 738 yards last season during Washington's 14-1 and season. One of the things that uh, stood out to me when I was watching his tape, he's a bigger style wide receiver, mm -hmm. six foot two, 205 pounds. I think he's honestly similar to Kendrick Law in the sense yeah. these are bigger guys coming in. And um, I like the fact that he returns kicks as well. You're starting to see a lot of athletic style guys under Coach DeBoer. Like we talked about the Noah Carter kid who's probably on commitment watch as well 6'4 220 but super athletic um what else do you like about uh Jeremy Bernard and how do you think he fits into uh this receiving unit now that you have Kendrick Law Jeremy Bernard uh you um you also have Kobe Prentice you have Emmanuel Henderson you have uh Jalen Hell there's a lot of guys like well if you're if you're Jamarcus Shepard who is their new wide receivers coach you're walking in of course uh really happy with a loaded arsenal of weapons yeah I tell you what, it gives the quarterback another target, another great target. Mm. Multiple wide receiver sets. A kid that I watched several times, as I said, go in the red zone, go up and get the ball. This guy, guys in this guy's stature, stretches the defense. Like mm. you're not going to be able to put your best corner just on one guy. You're going to have to have a few dogs on defense mm. to, to match up with guys like this. Mm -hmm. Guys that really, really, really stresses the defense that you cannot play honest, right? So you need guys like this guy. You need another target on offense. Anytime you can bring weapons of this guy's caliber that has done it, it totally enhances the offense. And with the type of offense that Coach KD is bringing, all this is going to do is make our offense even better than it was last year. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, I think it's a big uh, added uh, piece to this offense. And um, and who's next, right? That's kind of what right. we're talking about. Who's next? who uh, is like what other big news is to come. And we've been looking kind of at our board and we've been going over our headlines about guys who could come in. We talked about KJ Lacey making a surprise visit. Uh, but a lot of the news was around another wide receiver that's in town. And that is Ryan Williams, who's getting the mm -hmm. full court press here at the University of Alabama on uh, an official visit. You look at what could be if he does commit and he, he does officially sign this wide receiver room, along with Ryan Grubb, I mean, you're talking about weapons of mass destruction on the offensive side. Yes. Yes. They, they Listen, anytime you can get a quality guy, not, not, a, not a complimentary piece, a quality X, a mm. guy that can play the X receiver himself, mm. this kid will compliment everybody on our roster. Kobe Prentice, Kendrick Law, Jalen Hill, Ryan Williams, if he comes in and you add this guy into that, you will not be able to play Alabama honest. And with the offense that Coach Katie is bringing, think about it. Jalen Milrow will have another year of experience. Um, if he doesn't, Ty will come in and Ty will pick up whoever the quarterback may be under a new system, right? They, were gonna, they are going to have the it, access to great weapons. 
great weapons. And the thing I like about it is last year at times, you've seen teams able to stymie our defense with certain ways they ran their – stymie our offense with certain ways they ran their defense. You won't be able to play as honest with, with these guys. Somebody's going to struggle. Most teams don't have enough cornerbacks to match up with these type of receivers all across the board. So you look at our schedule, it's only maybe one or two teams that has enough cornerbacks, quality cornerbacks, to play really solid defense on these type wide receivers across the board. And God forbid if they play man coverage, no matter who the quarterback is. I ask you about this. And uh, as we have Jeremy uh, Bernard in, we don't have him up on this particular graphic right now. Um, we're looking at kind of some of the offensive sets. I, I think we have Brailsford in at center right now. But yeah. uh, I, I mean, could you talk about again, like where you see him fitting in on this and where you could potentially have, I know Ryan Williams, we have him at the Z. We, we don't know how this is going to work out, but in, yeah. in, in look, the tackle, the guard, the offensive line, I'm not even sure if I agree with that. I have Elijah Pritchett on that left side, Booker, Brailsford, uh, Jaden Roberts. I don't know who's going to be the right tackle. Caleb Odom certainly at the tight end along with CJ Dupree. So look, these are moving parts. This is all fluid. Um, but where do you like um, Bernard fitting in? Can you say that again in terms of now that we have the graphic up? Yeah. Um, Coach? Me personally, I like Jeremy Bernard at the X. I like him at the main split in guy. I like him right here at the X. And personally, if we're doing personnel, I call it now. I spoke to the coaches about this earlier. We all think they're going to slide Tyler Booker back out to, to right tackle and keep Pritchard yes. at your yep. left tackle. Yep. Pritchard played left tackle before yep. behind mm -hmm. Caden, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tyler Booker was originally a tackle. They moved him inside the guard because mm -hmm. of personnel stuff, right? So mm -hmm. you slide Rock Montgomery at that guard where Booker is. Yep. You slide Booker at the right tackle where Pritchard uh -huh. is, and mm -hmm. you put Pritchard back at the left tackle. Yes, uh, yes, as far, yes. Yeah, as far as Jeremy, mm -hmm. give me him at the X. I'll play him okay. at the X right there with Hale, uh -huh. right? Over a Rico Scott even. I think Rico's going to come in and learn the offense, been a young guy, but this is a proven guy, right? It gives the younger guys a chance to really learn from him. Hale's going to have – and here's the good thing about it. Mm -hmm. In Alabama's offense, these guys can play the X, Z, or mm -hmm. Y, all of them. They all yes. can play – I can remember Devontae Smith spoke on that. When you come to Alabama, and I'm sure Coach KD is going to be the same way, you enter, have interchangeable guys. So it's no thing to slide Kobe into the Y. It's no thing to slide him inside, slide Jalen inside, right? All yeah. these guys can play the X, Z, or a Y. But for me, if I had to pick one place where Jeremy's going to be, it would be that X receiver, that split in receiver, being that he comes from this offense. So he will be one of the focal points. Yeah, and we will uh, update this graphic, including any uh, spelling, you know, errors that we have in there, like Jefferson. We'll get it covered. We'll get you all tightened up right here on Bama Football on YouTube. We appreciate you guys, and uh, we appreciate you guys rocking with us right here on Bama Football on YouTube. You know, you guys are with us as we became a network overnight and being here as news happens right here on Bama Football on YouTube. And again, uh, you have... Uh, um, and kind of like the, the way that news is working now is like expected to commit. It's like this is kind of where we're at, you know, but um, excited about Jeremy Bernard coming into the Alabama Crimson Tide. Really big pickup tonight. Austin Mack is in. Parker Brailsford is in. And then you also have Jeremy Bernard coming in uh, as uh, the wide receiver. So you have three offensive weapons coming into Alabama, filling up uh, Coach KD, coming in with some good news for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Run the thumbs up on these videos and definitely yes, um, support the coaches, Coach Sean, Coach Smith, Coach Jarek, Ty, and a coach, and of course, Will the Scout, all a part of Bama football on YouTube. Big pickup tonight for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, this is good news. I mean, when you keep asking what the good news is, this is good news. There was good news last night, and there was good news the day before. So good news is coming in, and we got you covered right here at Bama Football on YouTube. We appreciate you guys being here, and we'll catch up with you soon. How was that? I thought it was good.